Guys, today we have some amazing Star Wars Funko Pop announcements to break down, plus even some great leaks. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we have some crazy Star Wars Funko Pop announcements that we have to break down. Starting out with this picture that was leaked of the official Star Wars Mandalorian mystery boxes that have been confirmed to be coming to GameStop next week for Black Friday. And there are four pops in this in this picture that were rumored to be in these boxes, but now we know thanks to the pop analyst as well as shadow underscore 31699. Make sure you guys are following both of them and huge shout out to them for sharing out this picture. So from this picture, we can see first off, we have another Paz Vizsla pop. If you guys remember, this is the second Paz Vizsla pop we are getting. The first one was the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian pop. This one is pretty cool because it is actually the first time that it actually says Paz Vizsla on the box. So that's a great touch. Nice dynamic mold here on the pop, which is a little bit different from the first one where he's actually holding his heavy weapon. I like this one. He has the knife in his hand. So definitely a, uh, a nice different pop to add to our collections. The one I'm really excited about here is the one that we already had pictures of that we talked about in last week's video. And now it is confirmed to be in these black Friday Mandalorian mystery boxes and that is the Jetpack Death Watch Mandalorian. This one looks awesome. I love any of the Star Wars characters in Jetpack flight mode. They've done a bunch of great ones with Boba Fett and Jango Fett and I think this one looks fantastic. Definitely can't wait to add this one to my collection. There's also two other pops that we can spot from the picture here. There are some stickers and some Star Wars pins that are partially covering up these two pops and there'll probably be some other goodies inside these boxes like we've gotten in the past. And from what we can tell, we do have another Mandalorian pop and this is the Mudhorn Battle Mandalorian where he is actually covered in the mud. And then the second pop we have is the Remnant Stormtroopers. So always great to get another Stormtrooper to add to the collection. Overall, I think these boxes are going to be fantastic. We don't know the breakdown yet of how many different versions of the box there's going to be. There might only be two versions where we just get, you know, these two or two of these four pops in each of the boxes. Um, if I had to guess, they're probably going to retail for $29.99, but we aren't going to have to wait too much longer because Black Friday, believe it or not, is a week from this Friday. So we only have to wait about nine days until we can get our hands on these boxes. I'm just hoping that the game stops that we're near at the time for next week have these boxes in stock because I imagine they are going to be pretty popular and a hot commodity amongst Star Wars collectors. Now another box that we just got or another pop that we just got announced this week was Casca Reeves. She is not going to be in the Mandalorian mystery boxes. She is going to be a specialty series exclusive and she is up for pre-order from various retailers. We already got pics of her. I think she looks awesome. I love the weathering on her helmet and overall she is a must have for my collection as I imagine she's going to be a huge want for a lot of other Mandalorian fans as this is the first time that we are getting Casca Reeves in Funko Pop form and I am always open to and uh, definitely very happy to welcome in another character for the very first time in Funko Pop form. Now the next piece of news that we have to talk about is arguably the most exciting Star Wars Funko announcement that we've gotten in a long time. This is the next pop in the Amazon exclusive Power of the Galaxy line and I know a lot of people are super hyped including myself for this pop. I already got her on pre-order and I would heavily encourage you guys to do the same and this is the Power of the Galaxy Ahsoka. She is wearing the white cloak and carrying the staff just like when we saw her at the end of the Rebels animated show and I would bet that at some point we may see Rosario Dawson dress up like this at some point in the Ahsoka series which is going to be coming out next year on Disney Plus. I'm super excited for that series. Can't wait for this pop. I think this looks fantastic. 
I think this is the best looking pop from the Power of the Galaxy line. They've made a lot of great ones. Um, you know, a couple Leia's, uh, the Sabine Wren looks awesome with the Darksaber, but so far this one is my favorite. So let me know down in the comment section below if you are as hyped as I am for this brand new Ahsoka. So we have another piece of Star Wars news that I want to bring to everybody's attention and this of course has to do with Amazon once again and that is there are some Star Wars pops over there that are on sale at the moment I think are a really good deal that I want to pass on to you guys so you do not miss out on this opportunity and the pops that are actually on sale right now is the Duel of the Fates set of three. These were the deluxe pops with Darth Maul, Gwagon Jin, as well as a young Obi-Wan Kenobi. These all originally retail for $29.99 and currently they are all pretty discounted. Um, to some extent. So the Gwagon Jin is currently discounted to $22.71. The Darth Maul is down to $20.10, which is by far the best deal of the three. And then the young Obi-Wan right now is posted for $27.36. Now it does say limited time offer over on the post for all three of these items. However, I would imagine that this sale is going to only get better or continue through Black Friday next week because if you guys are Prime members and frequent flyers of Amazon like myself, then you will probably know that a lot of Funko Pops tend to go on sale for very good deals right around this time, especially as we get closer to Black Friday and then the holidays. So take advantage of these deals if you've been holding out. I have not picked up this set yet and I'm definitely going to take advantage of these discounts and this awesome deal because this set looks fantastic out of box. I want to put it on my shelf somewhere for uh you know to to look at you know on my star wars display i just overall think it's a great set that you guys definitely should not miss out on so the next star wars funko pop that we have to talk about is actually going to be a future funko shop exclusive and this is the 10 inch yes you heard me correct the 10 inch lights and sounds Darth Vader. This is the first of its kind. We've never gotten a 10 inch lights and sounds pop before and it looks like Darth Vader will be the first. Now I don't know if we needed another Darth Vader Funko Pop. I'm a huge Darth Vader fan but I think they just decided to reuse this mold once again and they ran out of four inch versions to make for this pop so they said you know what let's make it a 10 inch slap a Funko Shop exclusive sticker on there and we'll sell it in a few weeks. So giving you guys a heads up on this if you are a huge Darth Vader fan and you need this for your collection be on the lookout over on the Funko Shop. I have a feeling that lightsaber is going to look really cool when it lights up just because of how large it is in 10 inch form. The next thing that we have to talk about is arguably the best part of today's video. We have some potential pop leaks for the second wave of Obi-Wan Kenobi pops. And this is coming from Damien underscore Appa over on Instagram, although I've seen this picture circulating throughout Twitter and Instagram and Discord and a lot of various places on the internet. So. I don't know if these pops are what we are going to be getting, but sometimes when we do see these lists circulating, it's not too far uh, or it's not too long until Funko actually makes the official announcement. So on this list, we do have several pops and then we have two pocket pops. So of the regular pops, we have a potential fifth brother, fourth sister, another grand inquisitor, Ned B, which would be amazing. I have to have a Ned B droid in my collection at some point. If you guys saw the series, Ned B was awesome and uh, I really have to get him in my collection. So Funko, I really hope you make that one. There's also a potential Obi-Wan battle pose as well as a trooper battle pose. Very interested to see what that's going to look like. There's going to be another regular pop of Luke Skywalker and then in pocket pop form, we're potentially going to be getting a young Leia Organa as well as a young Luke Skywalker. Now right up there next to Ned B, I would also love to have a young Princess Leia holding the little Lola droid. They were both a focal point of the series and um, I just think that one would be super cute and a layup if Funko wanted to use that for a Funko Shop exclusive or maybe even a potential con release for San Diego Comic-Con or New York Comic-Con next year. But nonetheless, I gotta have Ned B in my collection at some point. Another Obi-Wan Funko Pop announcement that is official. It is not a rumor, it is not a leak. These have been rumored for quite some time and we do have our official 
first image of the art series Obi-Wan Kenobi Funko Pops. Now this one is mostly purple and it looks like his lightsaber is pink. Now I'm not a huge fan of these art series slash um, retro Funko Pops. I know some people are, but I'm just not a huge fan of the way they look. I just don't think it's an accurate representation of the characters from either the comics or the shows or the movies. Nonetheless, it is going to be available for pre-order from various retailers in the very near future. So if you have been excited for this one or waiting for this one, um, it is gonna be available for pre-order in the very near future. We do have one more Funko Pop announcement to discuss and we couldn't make it through an entire video without having a brand new Grogu Pop to talk about. Although this one is a little bit different as this one is coming as part of a Pop and Tea bundle. This one is a little odd. So this one is the first Grogu of its kind considering that it is going to be flocked. Now, from all the other collectibles that we've gotten of Grogu and then, you know, seeing him in the show and everything, my feelings towards him is that he is not a character that is flocked. I would imagine that his skin is, you know, more reptile-like if you want to imagine. I just don't see him as being a furry little character, something like an Ewok or something like that. So I don't really think the flocked variant fit him in terms of a pop, but nonetheless, we're getting him as a pop and tea bundle. Um, the sticker that we have in the picture here is just that Universal Funko International sticker, although I would imagine here in the US, this will probably be either a GameStop exclusive or likely a Target exclusive, as Target here in the United States does get a lot of pop and tea bundles, and I could definitely see them getting this one in the very near future. So that's gonna do it for all of our Star Wars Funko Pop announcements. Guys, let me know down in the comment section below which one are you most excited about? Unlike last week's video, this week we had a lot of good things to talk about and I think this is a good direction for where Funko should be going, bringing in new characters, doing some fun mystery boxes, getting people hyped for Mandalorian Season 3 and Ahsoka and all the other series we have coming out next year. We have Bad Batch coming out in January. It is looking to be a great year for Star Wars and us Funko Collector, so hopefully Funko continues to bring the heat. So with that being said, guys, make sure to subscribe if you're a big Star Wars fan like myself. And as always, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all very soon.